country with a flavor of varied tradition, culture, language and food. It has an amazing history with the culmination of several landmark events. But the most important event that changed the nation forever is undoubtedly the freedom struggle. India's freedom movement finds a place in the golden pages of history and is one of the most recognized demonstrations of steadfast protest on global scale. India attained freedom from the British rule on 15th August 1947. This year, India is celebrating its 74th Independence Day. Hello everyone, welcome to my channel Eager Beaver. In this video, I would be narrating India's freedom struggle as a story to make it very interesting for you. Do watch this video till the end as you would surely enjoy knowing about the glorifying facts behind India's independence. The history of India begins with the birth of Indus Valley Civilization around 2500 BC and coming of the Aryans. The two phases are usually described as pre-Vedic and Vedic age. Hinduism arose in the Vedic period. In the 8th century, Islam came to India for the first time. Earlier, Indian subcontinent was conquered by Mauryan Empire, then Chola dynasty ruled the nation. Thereafter, Islamic conquest happened followed by invasion of Mahmud Ghazni. Then in 16th century, the Mughal Empire conquered most of the Indian subcontinent. Later, in 18th century, the British came as traders in India under East India Company. They administered India for about two centuries and brought revolutionary changes in the social, political and economic life of the country. Under the British rule, the Indians were treated as slaves. They were working hard without getting any returns and were also mistreated. This led to multiple mutinies and prominent freedom fighters came to the forefront supporting various movements in the struggle for freedom. The Indian independence movement was a series of activity with the ultimate aim of ending the British rule in India. The movement spanned from 1857 to 1947. So let's get started. In 1857, a new Enfield rifle was introduced into India and the cartridge was rumored to be greased with animal fat, primarily from pigs and cows. To use the rifle, the soldiers would have to bite off the ends of the greased cartridges in order to load the weapon. Mangal Pandey revolted against the British since the cow is a holy animal to the Hindus and the pig is abhorrent to Muslims. The use of fats from these animals was considered controversial by the Indian soldiers. Perhaps Pandey was actually able to understand the true motive of the British to divide the country into Hindus and Muslims to ease their dominance. He played a key role in the revolt of 1857, also known as Indian Mutiny of 1857. He is widely known as one of its first freedom fighters. After the incident of 1857, the control of India transferred from East India Company to the British Empire. British, in order to provide a platform for civil and political dialogue among educated Indians, led to the formation of Indian National Congress in 1885. In 1905, Bengal was the capital of India. British wanted to divide Bengal in East and West Bengal. Bal Gangadhar Tilak, also known as Lokmanya Tilak, was the first Indian to embrace Swaraj as the destiny of the nation and encourage Swadeshi movement to oppose partition of Bengal. This movement was also called as Make in India movement under which all Indians would use only the goods produced in India and burn British made goods. In order to curb the growing nationalist upsurge in the country, Rural Act or Black Act was passed by the British in 1919 under which police could have arrested any person without giving any reason, no Indian could have kept weapons and no one could participate in any social gatherings. Mohandas Karamchand Gandhi, also called as Mahatma Gandhi, was a lawyer, politician and activist. He became the leader of the nationalist movement against the British rule in India. He believed in the theory of non-violence. It was a roulette act which brought Mahatma Gandhi to the mainstream of freedom struggle. On 13 April 1919, during the traditional festival of Vaisakhi, more than 15,000 people gathered in the Jallianwala Bagh for a countrywide campaign against the Act. Act. General Dayu, who came to know about it, went to the site with his troops and ordered open firing to the crowd without any pre-notice or warning. About 379 people were killed in cold blood. This incident completely shattered the people and changed their mindset. 
This gave rise to the largest movement of all the time, the Non-Cooperation Movement, which started on 1st August 1920, in which people were encouraged to give up their titles and boycott government elections, schools, colleges, etc. On 5th February 1922, 22 British troops were killed by some Indian protesters participating in the non-cooperation movement outside a police station in Gorakhpur district. After this incident, Mahatma Gandhi called off the non-cooperation movement as he was against violence and was worried that the British will retaliate and harm the Indians. During the same time, another movement called Khilafat Movement from 1920 to 1922 was initiated by three Muslim leaders, Muhammad Ali, Shaukat Ali and Abdul Kalam Azad to pressurize the British government to preserve the authority of the Ottoman Sultan as Caliph of Islam. Simon Commission in 1927 was set up by the British on political situation in India. However, the commission was made by the Englishmen, no Indians were a part of it. Indian leaders protested with the slogan, Simon go back demonstrations everywhere. Here Lala Lajpat Rai led the march in protest of the commission. Police attempted to disperse a large crowd and that resulted in violence. This caused injuries to Lala Lajpat Rai and led to his death due to heart attack. Due to this incident, another young revolutionary, Bhagat Singh, vowed to avenge Lala Lajpat Rai's death. He conspired with other revolutionaries like Subdev, Rajguru, Chandrasekhar Azad and decided to kill James Scott, who called for Lati charge which led to Lala Lajpat Rai's death. However, due to mistaken identity, they shot John Saunders in the police instead of James Scott. Thereafter, Bhagat Singh accompanied with Batu Keshwar Dath and threw bombs into the assembly chamber from the public gallery in an ongoing session. The bombs were only designed to care but not to kill. This led to the arrest of Bhagat Singh and he kept shouting the slogan, Inkilab Zindabad. In the meantime, Subdev and Rajguru were also arrested. They all went for a hunger strike in the jail and gained tremendous support from the public to raise voice against the atrocities of the British and fight for independence. Finally, three of them were hanged on 23rd March 1931. The executions were widely reported across the nation and brought a lot of criticism about their unfair trail. In between, Mahatma Gandhi had started a bigger movement called Civil Disobedience Movement in 1930. One of the main reasons for starting this movement was the monopoly of the British had on salt in India. Indians were prohibited from buying and manufacturing salt. They had to buy it from the British and also pay heavy taxes. Mahatma Gandhi hence started his famous Dandi March, a 241-mile journey on foot to the salt mines in Gujarat. This march worked as a catalyst for India's struggle for independence. This was also called as Salt Satyagraha, meaning holding on to truth, was based on Gandhi's principle for non-violence. During the Salt Satyagraha, another important leader of the Indian National Congress, Lal Badu Shastri, who was the man of great inner strength and was humble and tolerant. He played a crucial role in the freedom struggle. He led a door-to-door -door campaign urging people not to pay land revenue and taxes to British. He spent a number of years in jail. During the Salt March, yet another very important leader, Saroshni Naidu, also called as Nightingale of India, participated in the Dandi March and Roundtable Conference with Madan Mohan Malviya. She was the first woman president of Indian National Congress. She believed in Gandhian philosophy and was instrumental in propagating Gandhian's principles to the rest of the world. Dandi March was one of the final straws that gave India the hope of getting independence. In the meantime, there was another important leader, Subhash Chandra Bose, also known as Netaji, formed Indian National Army. He gave the slogan, Give me blood and I shall give you freedom. He attempted to get rid of the British with the help of Nazi Germany and Imperial Japan. He coined the term Jai Hind. He advocated complete Swaraj. He gained tremendous popularity amongst masses and later on is believed to have died in a plane crash in Taiwan. Later on, during the Second World War, on 8th of August 1942, Mahatma Gandhi and the Indian National Congress launched the Quit India Movement. They had only one demand, that a British rule must end completely. By the end of World War II, Pandit Jawaharlal Nehru was recognized as a Gandhi successor. He was fully active in non-cooperation movement, Dandi March and all struggles for freedom. He was called as Chacha Nehru because of his love for children. He, his nationalism and ideas helped India to get its independence. This movement caused the British to realize that their power in India was waning. During the struggle of Mahatma Gandhi, there was also a very important freedom fighter, Sardar Vallabhbhai Patel, who gave up his legal practice and was an ardent admirer of and support of Gandhi. 
He played a great role before independence and also after independence by uniting all the princely states in the Union of India. He was known as the Iron Man of India. There was another leader, Muhammad Ali Jinnah, who too was a part of Indian independence movement. He worked to bring the Congress and Muslim League together. After a century of revolt, bloodshed and political negotiations, India succeeded overthrowing the cruel British rule and attaining independence on the 15th August 1947. Mahatma Gandhi was considered as the father of nation because of his great deeds. The India Independence Act was passed on 15th August 1947 under which British India was partitioned into two new domains, India and Pakistan. Pandit Jawaharlal Nehru became the first Prime Minister of India who hosted the Indian national flag at the Red Fort in Delhi. Since then, an annual national tradition is being followed popularly known as Independence Day of India. A great number of revolutionaries and activists came together and embarked the mission of India's independence. All these freedom fighters fought, struggled and even sacrificed their lives to free India from the British rule. To respect their efforts and devotion, I would also like to mention some other important heroes who were important in this journey of freedom. Let's remember them too and pay our tribute. Rani Lakshmi Bai, also known as Jhansi Ki Rani, was the bravest female warrior who fought against the battle against the British. Bahadur Shah Zafar was the last Mughal emperor, was also a great freedom fighter and involved in Indian rebellion of 1857. Tatya Tope was the leader during Indian Mutiny of 1857. Nana Saib too was a leader during Mutiny and launched attacks on British. Pipin Chandrapal was the one in the trilogy of Lal, Bal and Pal. He was one of the main architects of Swadeshi movement. Gopal Krishna Gokhale was considered as one of the most learned men of India. Gandhi himself called him as his mentor and guide. Dr. Rajendra Prasad was a great freedom fighter too. He became the first president of India. Annie Besant was British but joined the Indian movement of freedom. She was women's right activist. She fought against her own country for India's freedom. Rabindranath Tagore was one of the foremost thinker. He was poet, writer and influenced numerous. He wrote the national anthem of India, Jana Ganamana. Bankim Chandra Chatterjee was Indian novelist, a poet and journalist. He was the composer of Vande Matram, the national song of India. Dr. Bhim Rao Ambedkar campaigned against social discrimination towards untouchables. He is considered as the chief architect of the Indian constitution. Sri Aurobindo was an influential reader, a spiritual reformer who introduced his vision on human progress and spiritual evolution. Swami Vivekananda was a spiritual giant who ignited the minds of several young people in the freedom movement. Dada Bhai Nehruji was an economic critic and gave boost to Indian national movement. Vinayak Damodar Savarkar or Veer Savarkar had participated in Swadeshi movement and was also a freedom fighter. Sarvapali Radhakrishnan was an Indian philosopher and writer who used his lectures outside India to further the cause of freedom. Also, Atal Pihari Vajpayee participated in the freedom struggle and he joined the Quit India movement. Bollywood has also showcased India's history of freedom struggle through many of its movies, some of which are Gandhi, Kranti, Mangal Pandey, The Rising, The Legend of Bhagat Singh, Bose, The Forgotten Hero, Shaheed, Sardar, Lagan, Upkar, 1942 A Love Story, Mani Karnika, Independent India is a nation of immense possibilities with a wide array of diverse religions and countless faiths. So if you enjoyed this video, please press the like button. I request you all to subscribe my channel and don't forget to press the bell icon. Thank you.